There's this video going round of science educator and science presenter Bill Nye, aka Bill Nye the Science Guy. In this video, he explains a little something about climate change in quite a controversial way. Quite a few people have got in touch with me to ask what I think of this video, and rather than write back to them all individually, I thought it would just be easier to make a video of me reacting to that video. Okay, here we go. Here, I, I've got an experiment for you, safety glasses on. By the end of this century, if emissions keep rising, the average temperature on Earth could go up another four to eight degrees. What I'm saying is the planet's on fucking fire. <laughs> There are a lot of things we could do to put it out. Are any of them free? No, of course not. Nothing's free, you idiots. Grow the fuck up. You're not children anymore. I didn't mind explaining photosynthesis to you when you were 12, but you're adults now, and this is an actual crisis. Got it? <laughs> Safety glasses off, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> So <laughs> I have seen that before. I saw it a day or two ago, but it's actually more sweary than I remember it even being. First thing to say is that genuinely, obviously, I do find that really funny. I think the question is, hey, do you think this video is at all effective in communicating issues about climate change? And that's a lot harder a question to answer. So first let's think about two camps of people. One of those is my kind of person, AKA someone who already cares a lot about climate change, thinks about climate change a lot, does a lot of things to try and mitigate climate change in their personal and kind of public life. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna enjoy a video like this because it makes me feel good about my views and makes me feel like, yeah, I'm on the right team, I'm fighting the good fight. But I don't know if it does that much to make someone who's already active feel good about themselves. I mean, I'm already smug enough as it is. Now the second camp of people we need to talk about are people who are actively skeptical about climate change, either of whether it's happening or about the cost and nature of the solutions and kind of this idea that the, the cost of the solutions is unreasonable compared to the extent of the problem. Now for people like that, Obviously this video is not going to be convincing. I mean, no one gets convinced by being called an idiot, let alone a fucking idiot. So, I mean, for someone like that watching a video like this, it's just going to alienate you even more. Okay, I said there were two camps we need to think about. I sort of lied because there's a huge third camp, which is people who don't have a hugely strong opinion either way. They're kind of on the fence, maybe they don't think about climate change that much. Now what would a video like this do for someone like that? That is the most important question because these are the people whose opinions can and do change the most. Now unfortunately, I don't have a great answer to this great question. I suspect that there are some people for whom watching this video might be like, oh god, yeah, this is a really serious thing, we need to take it more seriously. And then others who think, oh, well, I'm not going to be lectured by this angry bowtie guy. I don't want anything to do with climate change. Now, how many people exist in both of these camps of people who were previously kind of ambivalent about climate change? I don't know, but my gut instinct is that quite a lot of people might be turned off rather than drawn to the issue of climate change by watching this video, unless they're already on the right team. And this video only polarizes people even more. And in this climate, pun intended, I think that's the last thing we need to be doing. Do you think people will be drawn to the issue of climate change with a video like this? Or do you think it's just gonna push people away? Or are you one of those people it's appealed to or turned off? Genuinely, please leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to know your reactions to this pretty inflammatory video. And while I've got you here, I just want to say a huge thank you to two of my climate adventurer patrons, Lynn Shackelford and Bearbell Winkler. Winkler, Winkler, Bearbell Winkler, Bearbell Winkler. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and I can only apologize for butchering 
your names. And if you want to follow in their fantastic footsteps, then have a look at my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash climateadam. The link is in the description below. Oh, and if you want my insider tips on how you can talk about climate change, then check out this video from last year. Until next time, bye. Take glasses off, motherfuckers.